Hello, and welcome to Sears Baked Goods. Today we're going to be making maple butter tarts again. This time we're going to add in some pecans. Let's see how that is. So I'm going to make 12, 6 with pecans, 6 without. See which one I like the most. I prefer pecans over walnuts, but you can use walnuts, raisins, whatever you like. I feel like pecans work the best though. So, let's get into it. To start off, we're going to cream our butter and our brown sugar together. While the butter and brown sugar cream off to the side, we're going to get our mixture of eggs, vanilla, salt, and maple syrup. Keep in mind, if your eggs are just slightly off, it's okay when you're doing this small of recipes, but when you do large batches, you need to get that exact amount. The darker the maple syrup, the better. So make sure you try and get darker maple syrup. That's where you're gonna get all your flavor from. This still is Sitter's maple syrup. I just had to put it in plastic jug because ran out of other jugs. Also, plastic jugs can be shipped, which is for a few people that don't live in Canada. Add a vanilla. Perfect. And a tiny bit of salt. Now you can't leave this like this. You have to make sure you mix it up. If you don't mix this up, your eggs will curdle and it's gonna be a mess. By the way, normally I would have the machine going while I do this. I'm just keeping it off because it's really loud and you wouldn't be able to hear me. There we go, this is all ready to go. So when this is done creaming, I'll add this in. Now that that's creamed, I'm gonna slowly add this in while this is mixing. If I was doing a larger batch, I would normally just keep using the machine. However, this is such a small batch that it's easier to do it by hand. And there we are. It's easier to just mix it in two seconds. With a larger batch, you'd have a lot more flour in there and it would need a machine to mix it properly. But with such a little amount, my machine might not fully mix it everywhere just because with such a small amount, the paddle doesn't hit everywhere as easily. Here's how the filling's gonna look. Looking good. We'll leave this off to the side and start rolling out our dough. I'm not too sure how much pecans I'm gonna use yet, but I'll weigh it out and make sure that you know how much for when you make it yourself. Now I'll just roll out our dough. Remember you're trying to go two circles and then as long as possible so you can get as much out of it as possible. Try and fix the cracks before they get too big. It's easy to fix them at the beginning rather than way later down the road. And you're gonna wanna roll it out to get about 10 pieces. And that's the magic number where if you can get 10 pieces, you know you have the right thickness. And with the extra, you can get the last two pieces. This is still the old sized recipe that I made earlier. I have remade some dough with a bit more flour and everything so that it is easier to get the correct amount. So this one I might be a bit close 
and I might only be able to get eight on the first go around. I have to get four on the second. Try my best, but with this small amount of dough, it's extra hard. Well, I was only able to get eight. However, that's okay. I've adjusted the recipe to be able to make it a lot easier to get that 10, to get the right thickness. So if you follow the recipe that's in the description, you should go for 10 pieces on your first go round and two on your second. So take all of this, be very careful not to overwork this. And I need to get four out of this. And there we are, we got all 12 pieces. Now we just need to put them in our tray, fill them, weigh out our pecans so we figure out how much we're gonna be using. And then bake, we're almost done. We're gonna first start by putting each one in. Remember you can use a bit of the excess dough to Slowly push that in, and that will make sure that you don't rip it, cause any problems. Once you get these all in here, You can start putting in your pecans. That doesn't look like enough, so I'm gonna add double that. That looks like a good amount to me. So it's about 10 grams of pecans per one. Oh, make sure you don't dump them in the wrong one. Now once you weigh it the first time, you can just grab and pour. You don't have to do what I'm doing where I'm measuring out 10 grams each. You just gotta make sure that they look about right. There we go. And the final thing is to add in your filling. If you don't, if you see there, it's separating the syrup from the brown sugar. So make sure before you fill, you give it a nice mix up so that it's all blended well, and then mix it in. And then you just fill each one. To about three quarters full. Depending on how much pecans or raisins or nuts you put in there, you might have to adjust the recipe to have less filling. Because obviously if you're gonna have a ton of filling, or sorry, nuts and stuff filling your tart, you're gonna have no room for the filling. Now they're nicely filled, just put them in the oven. Make sure you get them in the oven fairly quickly. You don't want the maple syrup to separate from everything. So don't be waiting around. Make sure your oven's preheated before you start pouring. Here they are. They're looking good. A lot thicker, a lot taller. There's still a bit of runoff. However, that's just because of using the old size of dough. Now that I've changed it, that shouldn't be an issue anymore. Just gonna let this cool down 
before I pop them out. And then I'll take some pictures, taste test them, tell you what I think. Now after taste testing them, I'm definitely going to go with the pecan ones. That doesn't mean I'm not going to have the regular ones. I think I'm going to do both. But for the regular ones that have nothing in them, those are going to be to order. So at the bakery, I'll have a bunch of pre-made pecan ones because they're just the best one and I feel like they're going to have the most customers come in for them. However, I will t test that, have both at the beginning of the bakery and whatever one outperforms the other will be the standard, but you could also order the other one if you so choose. If you've liked this video, please like and subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. I even have my own website. Thank you, and have a nice day.